Well, didn't really go as expected this morning so far. I was up quarter past five, half past five. Looked outside, still dark. An hour before sunrise. Kept it local this morning. Thought, give myself only 20 minutes to get where I wanted to get to. Started in the car. I could see the sun starting to rise. Lovely glow in the, uh, on the horizon. I'm thinking, liking this. You know, you, you know that feeling when you start to get quite excited because the sun rise looks as though it could be a really good one and you're heading out with your camera on a Saturday morning. You're not gonna go to work. So, kept driving. Then saw a little bit of mist. I thought, oh, can't get any better. Gorgeous sunrise, mist. So I headed then to where I had planned to go to, which is not a magnificent location, if I'm honest. As I say, I wanted to keep it local this morning. And I'd, I'd spotted this sort of low gnarly tree in a field when I had to pick my son up from some dad taxi event I had to do a few weeks ago. And it, I thought it looked quite nice and it'd be a nice sunrise location. But I got there, I just wasn't feeling it. The, I don't know, there was mess, there was mess on the horizon and it just didn't look, look good. But then the sky was doing this. And I thought, oh no, what do I do? I need to take advantage of that sky. So I got back in the car, drove for a bit, literally just around the Lincolnshire countryside lanes, just trying to find a composition somewhere. Stopped, got the camera out, no, got back in, drove around. And by the time I'd finished all that, sun had rose and I'd gone back to the gnarly tree, took a quick snap of it, and then actually thought, well, bugger it, I'll just come to where I was gonna come after the gnarly tree which is where I am here. Uh, and I need this cup of tea because it's been a long morning, but never mind. So I ain't got a clue what I'm going to get here either, if I'm honest. It's been one of those um, sessions where I've just focused on Google Maps, Ordnance Survey Maps, looking for footpaths, looking for places nearby, looking for trees that look a little bit isolated. And I spotted this area around here, which isn't far from Bourne in Lincolnshire, um, near Grimesthorpe Castle, I think it is, but I don't think it's much of a castle, more of a stately home, but I think it's called Grimesthorpe Castle. And it, on Google Maps, there's an area uh, of tr sort of isolated dotted trees. And in the middle of these dotted trees, I could see gnarly old trees as I zoomed in from the satellite. And I thought, well, ooh, okay, that could look quite interesting. So I've come here. Um, so far it's been a half an hour walk to get to where I am. I'm on a footpath. I think I need to be careful because there's plenty of this land that you can probably just walk on, but I don't think you're supposed to because there's no footpath. So I'm just gonna have a wander around here and see how I get on. Um, it's now probably about 20 past seven. The sun's well and truly risen. Uh, there was a little bit of mist still on the horizon, but I missed it. So, <laughs> but I missed it. Did you hear that? Classic comedian me. Right, I'm gonna go and head into these trees to see what I can find. Do you like my mug? Actually quite liking this wood so far there's there's a lot of really old twisted trees which I didn't know were around here you know when I when I scroll Instagram and Facebook and see these gorgeous misty images of the twisted old trees down it I think it's Wisman's forest and in Dartmoor and places up in Scotland really envious of those sort of old twisted gnarly trees in the mist but you know, they're not as nice 
I'll give you that, but there is some nice looking opportunities here. So might not be a wasted morning after all. I quite like this one here. Um, I like the way this sort of branch sort of twists down and reaches his arm out towards the front here. And when I first got here, there was a patch of sunlight just right underneath where that branch was hitting on the grass. And then it, there's a little path goes in the distance and there's some ferns in the distance, which were lit a second ago. I quite like the shape of it. So I've taken a portrait shot of this tree. Now, the highlights in the back, I'll put my hand up, they're blown out. Um, I really, and I couldn't really put a grad filter on because then I'd lose the definition in the tree. I wouldn't lose it, but I'd make the shadows a lot darker in the tree. So I'm gonna see what I can do in post with that. Um, but yeah, I quite like the shape of this tree and the way it was sitting in the frame. So I'm gonna move on because I think there's one more up there that I've spotted and there's quite a lot of deer around here as well. So I'll hopefully get some of those on camera for you too. Yeah. So there's another one I've got with uh, a dead gnarly tree on the right hand side and a not dead <laughs> gnarly tree on the left hand side, an old twisted tree. Uh, and there's some nice light coming through uh, above the trees and on these lovely ferns in front of the scene here. And it seems as though the old dead gnarly tree is reaching itself out to try and grab hold of maybe what was its son or daughter. And it was just trying to grab hold of it before it eventually died. How sad. <laughs> anyway. The interaction's there, there's a story. So, here you go, brought it to life for you. I actually don't know how it was gonna come out. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not expert at woodland photography at all. However, I do enjoy it. And I think where I live, I've probably got more opportunity to get out and practice woodland photography than I have, um, you know, some other big scenes and hills and mountains and seascapes and things like that. So I'm probably gonna focus a bit more on it because I do enjoy it. Uh, and I do like to cr try and create a composition within a scene. And especially when you've got a bit of interest in these trees, it does make it a bit easier. So yeah, another scene here of two trees interacting with each other, old and new. Autumn is definitely starting to show signs around the landscape now. Horse chestnut trees are starting to turn and drop their conkers. And I don't think it'll be long before the rest of the trees start to turn also. And we get those gorgeous browns and oranges in the landscape. And this is a place I will come back to for that such time because it's, um, it surprised me actually, um, I, after the, the morning I had, well, the first thing this morning anyway, um, I, 
I wasn't feeling as though this would turn into much, but although the sun is now too high, it's too harsh, so I've stopped taking pictures now, but there's a lot of potential in this place. Uh, it's a huge place and there's a lot of little trees and the gnarly trees add a bit of character. Um, and yeah, I think this is a place to come back to in the autumn. Um, on a nice misty morning again. I'm kicking myself actually because there was some mist this morning and I think if it had come here first rather than trying to take that, uh, that other tree that I'd spotted then I might have got some low hanging mist in these trees, but never mind. Anyway, it's been um, an interesting walk through this area which is about 20 minutes from where I live, so handy for me to nip out if I do spot the forecast for mist or fog in the morning. So look out for that one in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll put a couple of images up at the end, which are my favourites. And I shall see you on the next one. Oh, don't forget to leave us a comment. Um, I really enjoy your comments. It just shows that, you know, there's, you, you, you like what you've seen. And uh, I like the interaction in the comments. So yeah, don't forget to leave us a comment. If you can, that would be brilliant. And I shall see you on the next one. See you soon.